What's good everybody? This is Casey Supreme with Internet Money. Today I'm doing a cook-up video for y'all. If you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram. It's at Casey.Supreme. Also follow the Internet Money Instagram, which is at Internet Money Records. With that being said, let's get this video started. Um, basically, I was working on this loop kit that I'm going to drop next. And I made this loop and it's just so fucking dope that I had to make a beat with it right now. And I was just like... I might as well make a cook-up video for the channel while I'm doing it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with this loop right here. Sounds like this. So that's what it sounds like. Also in my new loop kit that's going to be coming out later this month. Um, that's going to be in there, but I'm also going to include the MIDI to everything. So this is the MIDI that goes with it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to use that MIDI a little later. First, I'm just going to start out building around this loop. So I'm going to drag in a pattern. Let's say pattern two. Zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to start, um, you know, building the drums around that sample, that loop. Um, so I'm going to be using my own drum kit. It's called Cyanide. It's a new drum kit that's out on wavesupply.net. Um, it's pretty much my go-to. It's all my sounds that I use when I make it a beat anyway. Ever since I created it, that's just been what I use. So I'm going to start out with a hi-hat. A little bit slower like this. And I'm going to take them off the grid a little bit. So if I zoom in, if I do control A to select them all, and then I hold down alt. <clears throat> and then hit the right arrow it's gonna nudge it then I'm gonna hold down shift click and drag and then I'm gonna pull down the velocity by holding down alt and scrolling down the mouse wheel Add a clap. Start adding these the mixer channels. Had a kick. I'm actually played out. Let's see what the hell. Alright. So I'm gonna play it out with my keyboard. Messed up a couple times. 
I'm going to quantize it with Alt Q. I'm going to do Shift D to make sure it's all the same length. Just like that. I'm going to add it to a mixer channel. I'm going to add T Rex brick wall limiter, turn this up to six. Use this crash, um, right click the time knob, do four bars. I'm gonna add a little like accent hi hat. I think I'm gonna play it out, maybe add some rolls to it. So I'm just going to quantize it, shift D, um, shorten them like that, make sure the velocity is all the same. See if we can add some rolls. I'm going to add them to a mixer channel and turn them down. So I'm going to take this MIDI from the loop. And that's why I'm including the MIDIs with the loop kit, just so you have some flexibility. Also, I found that loops are really hard to add to if you don't know music theory really well. So it's like you can't find which note goes with it. This just makes it easier because you can drop in the MIDI and you can see the notes that were played in the loop. So that's why I did it that way. Let's find a sound. That's pretty dope. Let's actually try something else. All right, um, add an open hat. I'm gonna change the envelope settings like this.
like that. I'm actually going to add a low one, I think. All right, now I'm going to send that to the mixer. I like to mix open hats kind of low. Um, one thing you can do with loops that I recommend is like change it up so it's not the same exact sound. Like don't just drag in a loop and just leave it. Um, I like to manipulate it somehow, even though it's my own loop, I'm going to try to mess around with it and make it different. Actually first what I'm going to do is go to gross beat. So I'm going to transpose this, maybe up like four. I just need to make sure I move this pitch up four as well. You can see in the top left um, up here, it shows what I'm at. So I'm going to put it at 400 cents. So now it sounds pretty different. So as you can hear, I have a lot of distorted 808s in this kit. A lot of people uh, were asking for those. So you know, I tried to include some. So what I'm gonna do is add this 808 to a mixer channel. I'm gonna go to New Tone, drag this in, center it. So if this ever happens, just drag it down. I'm going to pull the variation back. That's what it's going to sound like. Notice it's on F. I'm going to drag this back in. Put it on F. And make sure I remove new tone. And now I'm just going to copy the kick. Paste it. Make sure this is on cut itself. <laughs> So really quick, I'm just going to move these down to kind of match the base, just to save time of having to try to like figure it out. Um, So now I'm going to put a note at the very end and do control L, stretch it all out. Make sure we cut off this excess. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment. Please subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to let the beat ride out now.